rolling. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Horn Fashions. Woo! My name is Steve, and this is Luca. Uh, Luca Copani, Pax Vobiscum, I like to say, like it's a Latin thing, you know, peace be with you. Pa- like, Pax Vobiscum. Yeah, it's proper, nice, maybe Christian thing. It is, a, it is. okay, well, Pax Vobiscum to everyone who's uh, who's watching and listening to us today. Luca, have you had a good week? Yes, nice, happy. I'm always happy. Don't know why, but I'm happy. happy. So, yeah, happy. all good, all good. You are very happy. Before we started uh, rolling, um, I should be looking at this one, shouldn't I? Before we started, uh, Luca was telling me all about uh, yoga, yoga Viking. No, that was just an idea I had because I thought there's a similarity between hipster and yoga and the Vikings. So I yep. think that the missing link is probably yoga Vikings. It is a, it's a project. We don't it get is a project. So look out this. for it on Netflix coming very soon. Yoga Vikings with uh, with Luca Capani and uh, lots of pillaging and uh, and possibly a little bit of and and vaping, vaping, vaping. That, <laughs> yes. Vaping. Yeah. Forgive me, boys, for I have sinned. You're an idiot. <laughs> the same size and the same shape. But Unlike you, you dirty pervert. I know about redemption. I would look for revenge. They ate the lasagna. They're very weird. Horn Fashions. The Horny Confessions Podcast. we also got Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Hi. Hi, Michelle. Hi. Michelle is like our voice of God. Indeed. Uh, we can, if God were a female, God, we, we haven't we, we, and we know she's not, yet. Right? We, no, 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 we don't. I don't, I don't misgender God. Yeah, because, it's very important. Because uh, they might be a bit, you know, uh, but they might get upset. So yes, that's how we don't want to. Upset Should we explain them. what this what this <laughs> podcast is all about? It's about collecting anonymous confession yes, yes. about uh, sex experiences, and then uh, we will politely give an, an, an uh, either not advice, but we will tell you if it's really bad what you've done, or if it's okay, or how can you improve yourself. You're being very nice with this. It's, yeah. Basically, it's about uh, people who are horny sending their confessions. Uh, we then read their confessions and judge them, right? That's it. Yes, yeah, we, we judge them, but, we judge. but no judgment, but we judge you. We judge, no judgment, <laughs> we judge you. Last week, we came up with uh, a range, didn't we? Like a spectrum. Uh, everybody's on the spectrum. Uh, it depends just where you are on the spectrum. Yeah. If your uh, sexual deed is really bad, that will uh, g- grant you a Jimmy Savile badge uh, we don't want you to get, but yes. we will but give it to yeah, you. We'll fix it for you. And uh, and if you're on the positive, if you're pro- if you're like a, consider the sexual role model, so basically the spectrum is from from Jimmy Savile evilness to uh, Harold Vorderman wonderfulness. Yes, or uh, Pierce Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan or Carol Vorderman. In the middle, the soft spot is Winnie the Pooh or Miss Piggy. Yes, which Winnie I would <laughs> aim for. The middle is always safer and cute and nice. So that's so. what we want. So uh, so you, you can be anywhere on on this spectrum. Yes. So what we do is we listen to your confessions. You can send them in. You can send them in anonymously. We have a questionnaire which is kind of in the show notes. You can send them in via email, uh, hornfessions at gmail.com. Um, or, I mean, you could, you know what? I'm actually going to put a phone number in the show notes as well. You can even send in a voice message if you want to. But nice. One day we will have our confessional booth placing some church you can just sneak. No, we yeah, won't. Yeah, so, should we start with our first confession? Luca? Yes. Hornfessions, the Horny Confessions podcast. My wife saw some crumpled envelopes in the trash. She opened uh, the envelopes because she knew that I don't usually throw paper in the bathroom bin. I usually use the recycling. Good when, person. Yeah, very good person. When, when she opened up the crumpled envelopes, she saw that semen was in them. He actually used the word semen, which I think is... I mean, scientific. He's a very scientific person. <laughs> he then, in brackets, I quickly needed something to come into and only had these used envelopes nearby. So it was a, it was a coming emergency. So that was a bathroom without toilet paper, I guess. It was I a guess. bathroom without toilet paper. Maybe he just had a, maybe just but with a shit. Uh, but he, envelopes. But with envelopes in it. <laughs> Later that day, I received an SMS from my wife saying, what do you think about when you masturbate? Boys, what should I tell her? Luca, what should this man tell his wife um, about what he thinks about when he masturbates? Because now I'm curious what was on the envelope. Like, It was a donation. It was a Because if, it's, of, a, like if it's a charity, envelope. that looks bad. Exactly. If it's like, I don't know, cancer research, and you know, so, oh, come on, what <laughs> that really arouses so much, that that's bad. It if it's like a, a... Fixed penalty notice from... That's anarchist, like, yeah, uh, <laughs> I don't like protest. the... Protest. Yes, I protest yeah. against the power, so that would be good. That would be good. If it's like a Christmas special, like a, a Tesco club card, some discounts, yeah. oh, you know how much I love a bargain. Uh, I yeah. just like to, I, when I saw some offer, I, <laughs> I can't, I can't uh, refrain myself. But, um, <laughs> or you can say I always loved Royal Mail, because you know those Royal Mail, yeah, red the, the, letter the, 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 the stamp. Yeah. 
Have you ever wanked into an envelope? No. Uh, Never. Funny, Not even fun for fact. scientific. No, because I have to say, in my bathroom, I also happen to have toilet paper. I don't know how fancy <laughs> I am. I am. Uh, or there's a shower usually in the bathroom. Yeah, I don't know. We don't. We don't judge shower. bathroom people. If your bathroom looks like a post office, what? <laughs> what am I to tell you? As a Christian, of course, masturbating is considered a sin. Like it's not, though, is it? We spoke about this. No. Last yes. Time. Depends on what you're. It thinking depends on what about. you're thinking about. So again, maybe he wasn't. Maybe he. Maybe he was thinking about the post. Or paying in the which bills. Case, yeah. It was not a sin at all. No, but you should deliver your semen in a different way, not with the uh, with a with courier. Well, yeah, you should mail. deliver more <laughs> yeah. close to the person. Especially seeing as the state the royal mail is in at the moment. Uh, I have to say the wife is a bit nosy. Why do you? Re but she wanted to rec recycle, maybe. So maybe she wanted to recycle. Yeah. So he's generally a good person. I know a story about somebody who once he was he had a date, right? Mm -hmm. And so in preparation for the date, he had a he had a quick wank. It happens, yeah. The pipes. Uh, yeah, it, it, it didn't happen on its own. He made it happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then they w he went on the date. <laughs> but the thing is, when he was wanking, the thing that was closer to him was a, a voucher, like a, like, um, like a, like a fifteen percent off. A Groupon. Like a Groupon sort of thing. Oh wow! It's actually, a printed voucher. And uh, and he he wanked. He used the he had the voucher near him because he was taking it. He was going on a date with this girl, and he was using the voucher at the restaurant that they were gonna go to so he uh, he banked into the voucher um, and then used it later on in the restaurant and he said it still worked so he still got 15% off even though the voucher had his so that's a cheap person he should have said okay I've lost my voucher and I don't want to go to that restaurant because the IGN rating dramatically <laughs> dropped because if you accept a voucher <laughs> with some semen on it I'm sorry I don't want to I, I, I will look carefully when someone pays with a voucher yes, in the next time I go to a restaurant so what are we saying to this guy Luca what we did say, he tell his wife uh Okay, if you think she's she found out your secret about uh, Royal Mail, just make up uh, something that makes you feel noble, like um, either discount or the government gets me really upset. Yes, or, or own it, or just own it. Be like, you know what? Yes, I wank into envelopes, and I don't think you should kink. Should There's something I used to do before I knew you because uh, I, I had a pen pal when I was uh, young, yeah, and then I, I extended it a bit to pen pal with benefits. Um, <laughs> pen pal with benefits. <laughs> and, I don't know. Why you do an envelope? <laughs> just be open with that with and maybe, yes. And, and buy some toilet paper for the bathroom. It will make miracles. I mean, really, I'm not an interior designer, <laughs> but uh, I, I can see the trend now. Almost every bathroom I go into in my friend's house, <laughs> they have a toilet paper. I thought, oh, this is a fancy thing. <laughs> well, it works. It, it, it works. I mean, you're making an assumption that he's making it in his bathroom. We made this assumption. He might not. Because the wife was cleaning the bathroom. Oh, oh, oh my God. I hope it was his bathroom or was a ba maybe. bathroom. Well, well, we should. Well, I mean, personally, person who sent in this letter, a uh, mystery envelope wanker, um, if you would like to send us <laughs> And let us know <laughs> what like envelopes. Send us more. I mean, I'm always open to experiment things. I just received the Tesco club card, doesn't do anything yeah. for me, but who yeah. knows, maybe a waitress, uh, he's, I don't know. Uh, I think we did quite well with it. Uh, I with, think, with yes, so it's a perfect example of a confession. We, we hope that you, we hope that now you've got it off your chest and out of your testicles oh. and into an envelope and, uh, and that, that you can move on with your life and that you and your, your partner. And if you want to get in touch with us, just email, please. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah please we don't, uh, we really don't have an address for, no, uh, for we mail. Don't, we don't, I mean, you could send it to the podcast studio, I suppose. <laughs> I wonder if, uh, <laughs> I like to. I like this studio. No, I like to. Maybe, yes. I like this studio. I don't want to get yeah. kicked out. So let's email. Email is safer. Yeah, maybe to one of the other yeah. podcasts who record from here. I uh, shall I read? Yeah, I will. please. Yeah. I've been having sex for three years before I had my first orgasm, hmm. which is, I mean, so not even a sin if you don't if you feel don't. pleasure. I think it's really, if you don't, if you don't no, don't maybe don't. really, but it kind of less. Okay, all right, okay. It's like okay. stealing something, then forget it. What, what you, that, forget what you put it. So yeah, you don't so take, you don't take the. You don't take advantage. Advan yes, so okay. okay. There you go. This is dogma, by the way. This is this is <laughs> religious dogma. <laughs> it was so unexpected. Of course, after three. I. She did the number two. <laughs> on the partner, she or he, he but uh, <laughs> without an orgasm, has to be a woman because men uh, get you, orgasm you, you easily. Would think yeah. So. I'm so now I want to see the guy again, but I did <laughs> number two on him. <laughs> What can I do? I love that you find it very hard to say I shat on him. Yeah, because, because anyway, <laughs> just, but, okay, may I say, I don't think I would have said this, but in this case, probably on a threesome would have helped because you can blame on someone else. Oh, yes, very Like great. when there's a bit of a fart and say, oh, did, I don't know, but if it's just the two of you. I mean, it's hard to, if somebody's seeing it's the hard shit evidence. out of it's, your ass. It's hard, hard evidence, you can't, person. yeah, I know, if there's only two of you, yeah. She did this, so, she did. wow. 
Well done to the guy who really, uh, that's a new, new meaning of cli climax. Uh, like, yes. uh, uh, I would, uh, what, sh sh she wants to see. Uh, she wants to see him again. But I'd like to know how did uh, how did uh, they how did their thing end? Like oh okay. What did how ended? It? She I mean, shot him. Yes. Then well, did they have a discussion, <laughs> a cup of tea, and just she did she help in cleaning up a little bit, or just oh sorry, oh, I go. You think she went, uh, like, maybe she took some envelopes. <laughs> Do you have any envelope? <laughs> to so um, it's um, a she wants to see. Uh, <laughs> she wants to see the guy again. I mean, I'd, I'd say just add some fiber to your diet and you're fine. <laughs> I'm thinking fiber might make it. What stodges you up? What, what stops it? Isn't it fiber? I fiber. think fiber helps in, in cleaning. <laughs> don't look at me, I don't know. Okay, I would, say, I would say, oh wow, oh wow. Been, I've not been constipated. Okay, I, again, if you have a quick reaction, say, oh wow, why don't you do this any time? Exactly. So maybe it feels like, oh, maybe that's how we should be. Yeah, yeah. that's why, you know. Yeah. But uh, it's not a sin. I mean, I hope she's it's married with a guy. It's not a sin, technically. It's just an, an addiction to the. Uh, and, and she added something that wasn't. It's not an addiction. She didn't do it on purpose. So she, she feels embarrassed, this person. Also, we're assuming right. it's a woman. Uh, this person feels embarrassed. I think she's a woman because she didn't have an organs for three years okay. and never had any. So, yeah, so yeah, let's just say this woman feels that she's, she, she's embarrassed that she shot on the guy. Okay. She, she wants to see him again. Should she see him or should she just move on and find people who are into this kink? Uh, well, if she enjoyed, but still, she should say, she oh, no, I'm book. a very shy person. So shy then eventually. But um, she should say, you've been amazing. Nothing happened to me. I had so many orgasms, but you're the first one that really eats the G-spot. <laughs> and the, <laughs> the G-spot. And the, the S-spot, whatever <laughs> spot you eat, it really resets my system completely. <laughs> so in this way, if she plays on his ego, he would be, oh, you know, ha -ha, oh, I had sex with this yeah, person. Yeah. One, and, and the friend would say, oh, she couldn't walk again. No, she could, but she really <laughs> emptied her bowels on me. <laughs> they she, okay, they should have a meeting again. Have a meeting. May I say okay. another date? <laughs> Another sex date, I'm that brave, but dinner after. Okay, never dinner Don't before. Go. Yeah. Very good. Never so dinner before. maybe a drink, not even a drink. Let's go straight to the bed. And then, once everything is done, Why have a cleansing before. Make sure that you have done it for a while. Oh, see, she, could, she could clean up there beforehand, couldn't she? Just like give herself. A do everything so that you're clean. Like if you go into colons to do a colonscopy. So yeah. it's <laughs> very clean. Okay, yeah, it's a bit of a complicated, but do a bit of before preparation. Every single date. Well, just uncleanly, you know so well, then you can also, choose. Also, come on, let's be honest. A lot of guys are into this stuff, right? I mean... Oh, yeah, maybe Yeah, maybe she thought, ah, oh, from your face, I thought you were into it. This yeah. sounds a bit offensive, but yeah. yeah. Or, and then maybe it's the beginning of a new great relationship, and then they go to the restaurant and say, oh, well, what should I eat? What would you like to see me <laughs> doing on the bed? So, uh, I don't know. It's not that necessarily a scene. I think there's nothing in the Bible that we contemplate about. Church doesn't even know about it. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, well, it's I, only about so we so so, sin, so dogma wise, religious wise, we're good. Yes, we're good. But I would be careful with sex from you know the anal sex. Oh yeah, uh, if is that, is that? <laughs> I mean, that would be a bit complicated. But Even better for the church, so because the church thinks you shouldn't, so that's fine. So, but, but also, we I mean, she wasn't. We, we don't no, no, yes, he's a, she didn't want to. No, 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 I don't think she did, was yeah, having an end. Yeah, so that's yeah. fine, that's fine. But maybe. Everything is fine. So far, everything is above board. She hasn't, she didn't orgasm for three years. So she wasn't yeah, doing, yeah. She wasn't doing anal, so it wasn't a sin. The only thing that's the problem is that she, the man she met was a bit of a dweeb, was a bit, was a bit. Maybe he just had the new on. sheet on the. Exactly. Uh, I, I stress exactly. the sheet because that's what he got. You know, it's a. <laughs> it's a sheet, yeah. A sheet. It's a yeah, sheety yeah. situation. <laughs> but um, no, I would say that it's a Miss Piggy with the win the pool situation. Exactly. exactly. You're a, yeah, you should be proud of yourself. Yeah, I well just done. Find someone who appreciates you for what you, you for what you eat. You, you delivered. Exactly. Girl. <laughs> Horn Fashions, the Horny Confessions podcast. I work for an environmental NGO. Okay, good, person. good person. I like it. Yes, we like <laughs> it. There are lots of young people who intern with us or who just work with us for a short period of time before moving on. And so there's always a lot of sexual tension in the office. Okay, wow, environmental, okay, yeah. wow, wow. I am a little bit older than the rest of the team and I've got a family, so I am above all of that. <laughs> Above <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Luke, obviously, has okay, he's the least attractive person in the office, <laughs> but he just played the moral. That's what I'm not into it anyway. 
Our office is very popular. To, our office is very close to some very popular clubs. And a few years ago, I find that I found out that there were a couple of interns who were coming into the office after a night clubbing to have sex in my office. My office <laughs> is the only one with a sofa. I, I mean, okay, let's get, let's get. <laughs> I decided to let them do it. Why not? All my files are locked away, so I figured no harm done. This, he's a, he, this is a I'm good sure thing. he has a webcam somewhere this in there. I'm person. sure. Oh, I wouldn't go there. Just I think, Luca, you, 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 you just think badly about people. Yeah, he's a good father. I think uh, he's a good uh, person. I think yeah. he, he's a Now, the thing person. is, word spread, and this became a thing in the office. I think it helped the NGO become even more effective in its work because people were happy in their work. Oh. However, three weeks ago... <laughs> <laughs> Three weeks ago, mm -hmm. I found a massive shit behind my <laughs> desk. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> we say compost in an environmental <laughs> NGO, but okay, let's go ahead. I'm assuming it's somebody's post-sex dump. What is, so what is well a post-sex? There's not even a... Bo anal sex might lead to somebody having it. Unplugs the thing and then you yeah, go to... Yeah, unplugs it, doesn't it? Yeah. But yeah. how do you see... Okay, well, okay. It, how did he see it? It's behind his desk, right? <laughs> no, but how do you think, oh, this must be a post-sex... Okay. Well, he knows people use his office for sex, right? Okay, okay, so, yeah. So, as well as... I'm assuming it's somebody's post-sex tub. <laughs> so, as well as being upset, I'm very close to pulling the plug... That, Put I mean, the plug crazy. back in, yeah? Pulling the plug... Uh, on allowing the sex to carry on. Will this make me a bad person? And is there any other solution? Yes, it will make you a bad person. <laughs> I <laughs> must allow people to have sex and then have post-sex dumps in your office. It's the only there. way you're going to save the planet. Um, okay, now the maybe this, there's, there's, some, there's something I don't... So, there's, something there's an office. Understand. There's an office. Well, apparently you don't have a toilet, this office. There's a... Like, like you're in an I office... Mean, and you choose the, the sofa office because, you okay, fine. Then, after sex, you really have the urge to do whatever you do. Is there any toilet in the environment? Is the what this we work? I'm not, I'm not saying it's we work. It is definitely not we work. But let's say that you are... <laughs> Is a libel thing. We don't assume. Oh, I should stop saying we work. We will cut this part. Let's say it's a co-working space. It's not a co-working space. I'm sure this environmental NGO has their own purpose-built office with one only office with a with a sofa, which sounds a bit shady because the the older guy in the office yeah. said, "Oh, let's bring a sofa in my office, uh, guys. Uh huh. If you want, if you feel tired after clubbing, you want to have sex, which I don't because I'm uh, I'm a uh, family. Please enjoy my it sofa just in front of the camera with like a. That. You made something so beautiful. It just sounds sound really. Dodgy. Because I don't think. Okay, let's say you're a person. you're a young green activist. You just stopped oil, not yet, but yeah. you're about you're to stop oil. You go clubbing hard because that's what you deserve that's when you, you when you stop oil. oil. Yeah. Then you eat, that's this wonderful person you are you have sex all night in the office of the not um, creepy i'm not saying it's creepy but your okay of your boss the person who told who and then who told you to stop oil in the first place and after sex you love to do a bit of make a bit of compost because you know it, <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> almost it grows the plant and stuff always feels like a dirty protest doesn't it? Anyway. <laughs> yeah that's you mean i'm sure there's a toilet in the office yeah. you just have to walk to the toilet yeah. what can but it's not maybe a, but maybe you just discovered the webcam oil. maybe it's big oil who are having sex in his, in his could be maybe it's yeah or you just saw that the the the, the laptop the desktop of the boss has a camera that is towards the sofa <laughs> these assumptions that you're making i think the guy is a really nice guy he's just yeah, but having a massive one in his <laughs> office, what do you think? Do you think he will not notice? Does he have some sort of, well, of condition? He doesn't notice. smell anything. Somebody, somebody obviously did it on purpose. That's why I'm thinking it's it's probably like some anti environmentalist mm. oil company. Maybe the cleaning lady. Stories. The cleaning lady might be very strict religious, which I would I should approve because I sh I'm, I'm the religious guy between yeah, two of yeah. us. <laughs> although it doesn't look like it, but I am. <laughs> So maybe she knew that that was the office of sin because uh, these guys are not so married. She had a shit in the office. Yeah, what would Jesus? Do? Jesus what wouldn't would do Jesus that. Do? Jesus wouldn't do that. <laughs> do not, do not. Jesus what? wouldn't do that. So I'm talking to the cleaning lady right now. Jesus Don't assume that Jesus would. No, okay. I've never seen okay. Jesus. Okay, okay. Uh, we are, no, we're, we're no. making a call here. Huh. Uh, I mean, we, we, for all Catholics, 
Saint Paul, saying, Saint Paul could do that. Saint yeah. Paul, ma- Saint Paul but, might have a shit in your office, but Jesus wouldn't. Okay, we just make that clear. Saint Paul would stone <laughs> people. So maybe, uh, but that was before it changed. Yeah. So, but he would, before it changed, he, uh, before conversion, <laughs> before conversion, he might have, he might have said, oh, you know what, I'm gonna. But yeah, no. So maybe that's it. We solve the problem. No problem. Uh, keep uh, allowing the uh, sinful couples to have sinful sex on your sofa, okay, and you if go. you're recording, I'm not. Uh, We're not he's not recording. He's a good person. So, and so he's just forgive, right? It's just, that's what, that's She'll what, forgive. That's what um, Jesus would do. He would forgive. Yes. Or have a, in a portal installed in your office <laughs> just right. to make it easier. <laughs> and then if after that they're still outside, they miss the target, then uh, it must be the cleaning yeah, person. Yeah, must be the cleaning I say cleaning lady, but me a cleaning man. We don't want also, to misgender yeah, the cleaning yeah. person. Change Problem. the carpet. Um, change the carpet. Change the carpet. Uh, I'd say vet the, the environmentalists who are pretending to be environmentalists because he might have he might have some molds in there. Some right yeah, there. I mean, oil companies who pollute well, the planet, they wouldn't hesitate they, to they pollute an office. Exactly. Of young, exactly. Ju- generous person with a sofa who's just uh, allowing yeah. people to have sex exactly. because they don't know exactly. how to do otherwise take if you don't uh, pull the plug what did he say pull pull the the plug. Plug on, on those people <laughs> if you keep allowing them to have some fun sex sinful sex uh, you will be the Pierce Brosnan of our of our, exactly. uh, of our episode you're uh, the hero, good guy really. you are uh, otherwise the Winnie the Pooh not the uh, yeah, yeah, you're Martin. not you're not a bad person no um, but d- Winnie the Pooh Unless you are filming them, in which case then... If then you're filming, you, that's you definitely... Oh, yeah, you're so Jimmy Savile if you're filming them. Oh, <laughs> yes, you are so... I will read about you in the newspaper <laughs> in 10 years' time, but I will read... Oh, my goodness. Uh, and that's our show! That's, that's our episode three, I Wow, think. yes. the numbers around, so episode three, yeah! Shall we Woo! find a title, a theme? I think we have a... Okay, like a theme. So, what what were the confession we had today? We had the guy who uh, who um, the, the environmental NGO, the guy in the toilet, then yeah, the, the, the desk. number two on the on the partner. We had the person who who shot on his partner. It's been a bit, a bit of shit. And we had the person who wanked into an envelope. The mysterious person. Who, yeah. Uh, so, so wanking into an envelope, shitting on a uh, on your partner, or shitting on on an office. Uh, Michelle, any any thoughts of how all those three three <laughs> things come together? <laughs> no. <laughs> Delivering. <laughs> Hard truth. Delivering, delivering, um, not hard, uh, maybe delivering, delivering soft. soft truth, I think. If you want to pick a, a color, I guess it's brown at this brown. point, but yeah, this uh, color uh, is a bit Yeah, brown, the, yeah. the color of this episode is brown. Uh, this episode, it's like Sesame Street, isn't it? <laughs> this episode is brought to you by the color brown. Uh, and uh, it's called Delivering Soft Truth. So, um, so thank you, everybody, who sends in your confessions. If you've got any more confessions, you know how to get in touch. The anonymous questionnaire, you can send us an email or you can send the WhatsApp to the number that I'm going to put in the show notes. Um, thank you, everybody. Who thank confessed. you. Have you got any, any more Latin to, to um, say? I would say again, Pax Vobiscum Peace will be with you and, and Fiber Diet. And Fiber Diet. And uh, till next time, bye! Ciao! Forgive me, boys, for I have sinned. You're an idiot. <laughs> say the size and say the shape. But unlike you, you dirty pervert. I know about redemption. I wouldn't look for revenge. They ate the lasagna. They're very weird. Horn Fashions, the Horny Confessions Podcast. <laughs>